Yeah. Is the David Good Long man. against the run seemingly yeah. has been a big factor? What, what did you like about how he's played against the run? What level is he playing at against the run? He's tough, man. Um, he's a physical guy. Um, fun guy to coach, you know, loves, uh, loves contact and he brings a really good energy. You know, when he's out there, he's just, uh, he's a physical dude that, uh, like I said, loves contact, uh, does a great job in a run game in terms of, you know, knowing where he's supposed to be and, uh, getting better and better each week. I really do believe that. And from my perspective, it seemed like, uh, David and Jerome had their best game together as like a linebacker duo. Would you agree with that? And if so, what will really click to, uh, against the Eagles? Um, I, yeah, I, I think they played you know pretty well the other night. Um, just playing together, and and uh, to me, that's that's just football in general. You continue to get better, especially in the NFL. There's so many opportunities to get better. You know, seasons long. Um, those two guys are communicating well together, and uh, I, I think they enjoy playing together. And and I'd agree with you. I think they're getting a little bit better each week. Anthony, uh, Big Chubb was. Big Chubb, Big Fangio, I'm Chubb. sorry, yeah, yeah, right, was saying that he thinks Bradley Chubb has been playing well all season. He thinks the, the recent sack numbers have really highlighted it. How do you think Chubb has been playing all season? I think he's been playing really well. Um, he's just a very, he's an accountable guy, like he's a detail guy, he does a ton of extra um, away from the field. So I'm happy for him that way, because anytime a guy's doing that type of work, you know, you want to see results and, and he's seeing them. Um, I would just say that you know it's not by accident. He's worked really, really hard. Um, he's a guy that you know we all love to coach, and, and um, I think he's improving each week. Like you said, I would agree with what Vic said. What don't we see? I mean, the, the turn, you know, setting the edge against the run, or what? What are we not seeing? I think he does a great job of that, and I think he has a good feel for um, you know some players. In my opinion, the, like really good players that usually have a feel for uh, when to take a shot. I'm going to use a little artistic interpretation, you know, and uh, he's got that. He's a talented guy, but he's a smart guy. Um, and he's physically tough. He's physically tough at the point of attack. So he's a big guy that's, you know, got some thump to him. And, and we really uh, appreciate his effort to this point. He's done a really good job. Big Flo, this Channing Tindall hasn't been receiving defensive reps in practice for a while now. What are some of the things he needs to show in his development? Um, I think he's in a room full of good players right now, too. That's uh, the other thing, you know, part of his process um, where we have a lot of confidence. Me personally, when I coach those guys, I have a, conf uh, a great degree of confidence in all of them. Um, and then, you know, you got Gink in there who's kind of rotating around, playing outside, playing inside. So um, there's a lot of guys in there who have been contributing, but he's just got to keep fighting for reps, you know, at this level, uh, the NFL, it's, it's, it's work every day. You're competing every day, you know, and, and um, he's around a bunch of good players. And his reps uh, on the other side, you know, against the offense have been good. He's been playing physical. He's been playing fast. So um, he's got a ton of uh, – Channing's got a ton of ability. I know I've said that in here a bunch before, you know, and um, I still feel like it's a matter of time for him. Anthony, you were in the running uh, as an internal candidate when the defensive coordinator opening uh, mm -hmm. opened up. Um, just talk about that. Is that like an aspiration for you to eventually uh, get to that level? I, I think, yeah, I mean, everybody who's in this business, uh, obviously, uh, um, that's always an aspiration, I'm sure, for, for a lot of guys. But I um, appreciate Mike giving me the opportunity. And I think the, uh, the best thing to come out of that opportunity is getting the opportunity to work with Vic, uh, to be with somebody who... Uh, is a seasoned and, you know, just somebody who's been around it and kind of seen it from every angle for so long. And, and he's been so uh, open and, and helpful to me and, and all the coaches. Um, I've really enjoyed that process. You know, I love the room of guys we have, like the guys I coach with um, and obviously the guys I coach here. So the, the whole process has been great that way. And, and I really am uh, appreciative of the opportunity to work with him too, to work with Vic too. Did Vic ever bring up like things he saw a few decades ago, and or, or any historical context to things you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I, and I probably bother him about that uh, <laughs> more than anybody. Like I love the you know the history of football, and and uh, my whole family's coaches. So my father, I grew up with him talking to me about you know Ever's past uh, in, in football, and Vic really has uh, can add a lot a lot of color to that because like. 
he kind of paints the picture of, well, this is why this happened, and this is the genesis of, you know, how, uh, you know, football evolved in some ways offensively too. So it's, uh, that's an awesome thing to be able to have at your disposal, you know, even just in, like, side conversation. Like specific example? Yeah, I, I'm always kind of – I've asked him a bunch in the past about his time, um, you know, coaching in New Orleans and coaching the Dome Patrol and, and all that. And, um, you know, I'm a Jersey guy, so Sam Mills to me is like, you know, obviously like most Jersey kids, like a hero of ours. So um, the fact that you're sitting in there every day with the guy that coached them, you know, and helped them every day, uh, that's a really, really cool – that's been a cool process. I've had a lot of great conversations about that. You know, Swilling, Ricky Jackson, uh, who was here in the summer, one, you know, at, at one point, I think at two practices. So that was really, really cool. And just hearing him kind of talk about the evolution of, you know, 3 4 and 4 3. And like I said, he kind of uh, can paint the picture, kind of fill in the, uh, the spaces for, for us guys, like of what was going on and how things evolved. Is there something, your, uh... interesting, is there something interesting? I don't know, maybe something that's a little different or unique about how he approaches anything such as practice preparation, studying the opponent, calling the game, mm -hmm. like what jumps out? Like, wow, that's really interesting. It's just super detailed. Like he's, uh, anytime you work with somebody different, you're going to take things away, obviously, you know? Um, but he's very, he's very open, um, very helpful that way, but he's super detailed. Like just in uh, different situations and areas of the field um, and, He's got a real knack for being able to see things, and that's not by accident. He goes through everything with a fine-tooth comb. And, um, you know, there's just a ton of detail in his preparation. And, and I've taken things for myself, you know, um, looking at that, saying, man, that's, that's a good way to do that. And, uh, you know, so things that will definitely affect you for the rest of your career, you know, as a coach, Make for sure. sure. You mentioned your family in Jersey. Do you get a stream to watch DePaul Don Bosco tomorrow? Or uh, I, you know what, man? I, I, I'm with the internet. It's like the greatest thing ever. I watch so many uh, high school football games, and all these guys. You know, we're always talking about high school football and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, my my brothers, I talk to them every week about the games. I'll, I'll definitely catch it. You know, I, I try and watch, try and watch them all. So, caught a lot of DePaul games and uh, a lot of Bergen Catholic games. So, 